New here at 6, jury deliberations began today in the Nueces County Courthouse in the trial of Robert Simmons. That's right, Simmons is charged with two counts of manslaughter, one for intoxication manslaughter for the accident that killed Mari Ibarra back in 2017. Our Brandon Schaff has been following the story all afternoon and joins us live from outside of the courthouse. Brandon? Yeah, that's right. Leslie, Mike, I'm here outside of the courthouse where just moments ago Robert Simmons got into it with Judge Miss Madari accusing the state of withholding and even tampering with some of the evidence in the case. Now, this is a case that involves Simmons being on trial for trial for hitting and killing Maria Bira with her, his car in August 2017 on Air Street. Now, prosecutors say that she was walking home from work in the middle of the night when Simmons hit her. And today, Simmons saying in court that some evidence was left out of the case specifically what was in his system once he was at the hospital. If they did not tamper with the evidence, that DPS blood work should have showed fentanyl. I have the paperwork right here that I got from the hospital this morning. Do I not have a right oh, to a fair trial or not? You absolutely have a right to a fair trial, and I have been fair to you through this Can whole I please put this evidence in? This no, is... you can't. The case is over. And you could really see a lot of the drama in the courtroom right there with Judge Madari saying right after that that the evidence is not allowed to be added to the trial and that it is now in the hands of the jurors to determine what happens. Now Simmons' attorney also telling me that the evidence that he has was not something that he felt was relevant to the case but was aware of it. And the defense arguing that Ibarra jumped in front of his car while he was driving with the state on the other side saying that Simmons saw Ibarra before crashing his car and was in the process of swerving to avoid running into the car that was in front of him. Now, the trial is set to resume tomorrow at 9 a.m. The jurors were unable to reach a verdict today, but we will be sure to keep you updated right here at the Noasis County Courthouse. But for now, that's all we have. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, Brandon, thanks so much.